going on everyone? Corbin with the Wasatch Gear Review. Me and the old man Greybeard heading into Naturalist Basin. Greybeard's first time. My second. Looking forward to the trip. Thanks everyone for joining. We'll see you down the trail. So there's the new uh, Alpine, or no, 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 not Alpine, Alps Mountaineering 60 liter pack that Greybeard has. This is his first time taking it out on the trail, so that'll be coming on a review here within the next maybe few months so we can get it out in the field and get it tested, see how well it rides and see how good it is. He was saying it's very comfortable so far, so yeah, that'll be another preview item here shortly, guys. So we already made it past the Mirror Lake turnoff, but of course that's not too far. And we're just headed towards Scudder Lake. That's about a mile into our trek. I think we're gonna stop there, have a snack, have a little break. So yeah, pretty beautiful so far, just like last time. Gonna be next year, hoping to do the whole 98 miler, plus King's Peak, the highest peak in Utah. So, see how that goes next year. Something for you guys to look forward to. Do it. There's a couple signs here. How you in his wilderness area? Sure, what that one says. That's the way we came from. And that's the way we're headed. Well, we made it to Scuttered, or Scudder, excuse me, Scudder Lake. About a little over a mile into the High Line Trail. Absolutely gorgeous. How you feeling? Not too bad. I don't know. Yeah, you'll work in. There's okay, that breeze for a little chill. Yep. There's our setup. There's mine. And there's gray beards, aka pops, set up. How you liking that uh, Alps mountaineering bag so far? It's been pretty good. I, I just got to get the adjustment. I think I'm pulling a little too tight. Up top. So it's pulling off my hip a little. We can loosen those load lifters. So I got to adjust. I think just back off so it sits a little more, and I think I'll be fine. Right on. Look at the pad, lily pad. I know, it's gorgeous. It? It's amazing. And this is one of the only lakes up here that actually has this many, like, lily pads, lily in, pads it. in it. Mm -hmm. It's weird. One of, the, one of the ecosystems then, right? Yep. You know, there's frogs, obviously. Dude, this is gorgeous up here, man. Look at how beautiful. Unbelievable. Yep. So we just had ourselves a soup at uh, Scudder and we're back on the trail. Probably the next point of interest will be the turnoff to uh, Wideman and, and Wilder Lakes. So yeah, back on the trail.
So we just passed the turnoff for Packard Lake, uh, Wildman and Wyman Lakes. And we are still on the High Line Trail, headed towards the turnoff for Naturalist Basin. That'll be our next sign. And then we'll head north about another mile and we should be at the basin. What up guys, so we're getting really close to the turn off for Natural Basin. It's five o'clock in the evening. We're at 10,300 feet. And it's nothing short of spectacular. We talked to a guy that was headed back out. That uh, He was camping down at uh, Mirror Lake. <clears throat> So we asked him how the waterfall situation is up there and he said they're just trickles. So unfortunately it's not going to be the waterfall mecca that it was last time but it's still such a special magical beautiful basin that I really don't mind. I think me and Greybeard will have to come back in the spring so we can, well, so he can see all that and so I can see it again. So yeah, that's where we're at. Um, I'll bring you guys back when we get to the Naturalist Basin sign where we shoot up north into the basin. All right guys, Naturalist Basin turn off. So down that way goes to Rocky Sea Pass and continues on the High Line Trail. Naturalist Basin is up this trail. Oh, look, no fires within a quarter mile of lakes. Which is basically here. Well, no, but it's um, it's a mile from here to the basin. So we would have to stop three quarters of a mile. A quarter mile? Within a quarter? Um, in the next three quarters of a oh, mile, okay. we would yeah, have, to stop. have to stop. That's what we're saying. So guys, I apologize, and I'm going to do it now, because <clears throat> if you follow my channel, last time I was up here with Melody, we had a fire. And I didn't know, and obviously I don't know how I didn't see that sign, or maybe it was not there. Um, I think the board was, but I don't think the white paper was. And I didn't read up in my book well enough, so anyone who watches, I want to apologize um, that we did that. Because that's a big no-no. So, anyway, we're going to rest here for a sec, and then we're going to continue on up. We only got about a mile left to reach the basin. And then to our camp, maybe a mile and a half. So, all right. What up, guys? We are in the basin. Tent set up. <clears throat> we are just a little bit down the trail from where, in, where, excuse me, where me and Melody camped our first night. Um, we read that sign back there, and it said. A quarter mile from the lakes so even though we're in naturalist basin we're assuming we can have a fire tonight because blue lake you actually have to go up on this ridge here and then quite a ways to get to the first lake up there oh wait no excuse me Marat lakes are up there and then you have to go up another bench to get to blue lake um, so we're, I'm assuming we're right around a quarter mile from Marat Lakes. We're definitely, we're probably two or two and a half miles from Jordan. So I'm assuming that we can have a fire right over there in the fire pit. There's already wood around. Um, so we are going to have a fire tonight since we know the rules now. And yeah, we're here. We are in the basin and it is beautiful. Right? 
or 11 thousand feet above that. No, 12 thousand. Wow. Yeah, because it's 11 just down at the base, or just up when you get up to the base. What up guys, Greybeard's in the tent, just chilling, I'm out by the fire, enjoying, time for a wee bit of Pendleton. Cheers my friend. Ah, uh, uh, Pendleton, the white cake with the sweet frost. I want to see how many of you know what movie that's off of. <clears throat> if you know what movie that's off of, go ahead and comment on the video. I'd like to know who knows what that line is from. Which movie is that line from? What up y'all? So while the old man's taking a rest, I'm gonna go down, see if I can catch some fish. Yeah, yeah. Exciting. <clears throat> it's eight o'clock at night. It's the perfect time, other than in the very early morning, to catch a fish. So we'll see what I can come up with. Again, thanks everyone for joining us on these adventures. I appreciate it. Hey you guys, first cast. It's a tiny one, but first cast. Awesomeness. Oh, ho, 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 little brook trout. Very cool. You guys probably aren't gonna be able to see the deer out there. Let's see if I can get her zoomed in. Oh yeah, you can barely see his silhouette. He's looking back at me. Just to the left of the tree, you just saw his head move. First deer sighting. It's starting to get dark, so I probably can't get too much video. But uh, 
First cast, got a fish. I haven't got one yet, but I've, I've only literally been here five minutes. So, yeah, killer. He actually started walking right towards me. Sorry guys, my night vision ain't that good. By the way guys, I think I might have misspoke. Um, I'm pretty sure brook trout have like, like little dots on them. I think that was a rainbow trout. But I need to, I haven't been fishing in a long, long time and I just need to restudy up on my fish and see what's what. But uh, I'm pretty sure it was a rainbow trout with that red bottom. Could have been a brookie though, not quite sure. If, if, if any of you guys know exactly what type of little trout I caught, I wouldn't mind knowing. So, I didn't catch anything else, but it's our first evening here. Tomorrow morning is a whole nother day. Um, I actually was going to go up to Jordan Lake. Got about halfway there, and obviously it's way too dark. So I'm headed back to camp now to see what Greybeard's up to. Definitely starting to get dark. Um, this is just my camera light that you're seeing on the trees. I don't even have my headlamp on yet because it's not quite dark enough for it, so. Anyway, I'll bring you guys back when I get back to camp. I think I'm gonna make dinner when I get back and mow down. I'm pretty hungry, so. All right, guys, we'll see you back at camp. What up, guys? So we're hunkered down in the tent. It is... 10 o'clock at night and we're gonna hit the sack so we will see you guys in the morning maybe some more fishing we'll see what happens you never know good night everyone good morning everyone oh boy I'm trying to get the fire going because my friends, it is 25.3 degrees this morning, and it is a chilly one, and it is 7 o'clock in the morning. It is chilly. Come on, fur. Get going. Oh, what a beautiful morning. I'm going to get some fishing in gonna be nice we got a deer coming right through camp guys there he is looking at us hi <whistles> hi it's gonna come right through that clearing dude yeah <whistles> hello well hello beautiful good morning Coming to get a little sip of water. Well, hello. Hi. Little white tail. Yeah. He's a youngie. It is. He's a youngie. Right down the trail, man. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool.
there's a Gazi, everyone. 12,500 foot peak. The tent is covered in ice this morning, of course. Where? Uh-uh. See him right there. See him? Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. Oh, yeah, I got him. Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> Man, that's amazing how they can do that with their head and not get a headache. I know. <laughs> really pop them into that, too. wild. <coughs> so this morning I'm going with the tried and true biscuits and gravy. The old man, gray beard, is going with the breakfast skillet. And we got our water boiling. Of course, you guys have seen my jet boil before, but I also wanted to show you guys my dad's snow peak. That is the snow peak stove with windscreen and an MSR Titan titanium pot. Uh, there'll be a review coming up on the Titan titanium and snow peak soon. So be looking forward to that. We're going to get our eat on, and then we're going to go get our fish on. Pile of food right there. Yep. Sun's up, giving us some love. We're at 30 degrees now, so we've raised about 5 degrees since last recording. Yeah. We're just going to get our breakfast on, and then we'll head out. What's up guys, so we just uh, left camp, heading up to the Twin Morat Lakes to do some fishing. So yeah, bring you guys back when we get up there and show you the lakes. So guys, we almost made it to the Morat Lakes. There's your view looking down into Naturalist, the Highline Trail. And the high is absolutely gorgeous. That big mountain range over there you guys see in the camera, right on the other side of that's Granddaddy Basin, where uh, me, Graybeard, and my son Sean took the trip last year. But that is spectacular. So here we are at. East Marat Lake. And we're probably gonna have to go around to the other side. The other side's a little deeper drop off. But this is it, East Marat, guys. Absolutely gorgeous naturalist basin. Up there where you can see the stain is where me and Melody were checking out the other waterfall. It's dry as a bone. Nothing coming out of Blue Lake at all.
Unfortunately, Greybeard's a little under the weather, so we won't be summiting Agassi this trip, but maybe next trip. We're thinking it's a little bit of altitude sickness mixed in with maybe a small bug. We're not quite sure, but he's still an animal pushing it out at 61 years old. Proud of the old man, so we're just going to kick it around these lakes today and have a relaxing time, hopefully catch some fish. So, I almost had one. I, on. I saw that. He was on and then he jumped off. Did you see it jump off? Uh-huh. He was on. I know. Darn it. Just got a really good strike and he got off. Oh. Darn, man. Yeah. Dang it, that was a big one. That would have been a big oh, you could hear it. I mean, I I didn't get to see it through the camera, but I heard it. At least a twelver, I bet. Is this where they said those guys said they saw the big ones? No, that's up at Shaler. That's up on that other ridge. So I don't know if Corbett's told you yet, but he's got a trail name now. Strider. It's a good name. It's what he does. It is a good name. I'm happy with it. Yeah, we're getting photos of other people fishing while you're fishing. Hey, come on, B, get away from me. Just a few clouds, man. Yeah, it's gonna be a beautiful day today. Stupid back, man. A little sore. Get off me, fly. Dang it. I'd honestly love to bring shade, but I just don't think she's much of an outer outdoor dog anymore. Probably not. Got to start them off young. Yeah, you do. So we left West Morat, and now we are at East Morat. We're gonna try our luck on some fishing over here. Mount Agassi, right there, and just a beautiful lake. Look at this guys, got some dinner for tonight. Yeah, awesome. Ooh, tiger. Tiger. 
Oh boy, look at the beaut look at that beautiful fish. Yeah, that's a gorgeous one. Look at that beautiful fish. Sweet. Well guys, two fish today. Well, one fish today and one fish yesterday. Two fish total. Uh, I decided to release that tiger trout back into his lake. I just, uh, I don't know, felt felt like I should, so. Too yeah, too pretty. So me and Greybeard are headed back down to camp to relax a little bit, and then we're gonna see about a little later, we're going to Jordan, we'll see what happens, so. See you guys back down at camp. What up guys? So, Greybeard wanted to take a quick nap after we got back down from uh, Morat Lakes. So I'm headed back down to the Y. And I'm gonna do a little fishing, a little more fishing. Uh, it's a beautiful day. I'm sure he'd be here with me if he wasn't feeling Weird. I think it's more than altitude sickness, to be honest with you. <clears throat> I definitely think it's uh, a little flu bug or something that he got, which sucks. But I'm not going to waste my time up here. I want to explore and fish, so that's what I'm going to do. I'll go back in an hour, hour and a half, and see how he's doing. Um, let me flip the camera and I can show you guys where I'm going to be fishing. So you might remember this spot from last night, except it was a little darker. And that hole right there in front is the one I'm going to fish. So we'll see how it goes. Fish number three, guys. That is a brook trout. You can see the spots on it. Awesome. Fish number three. I'm going to get him off the line and get him back in. Nice. Oh, tally of three fish caught and released. I think I'm going to go try to find Everman Lake. Me and the old man can see it from up um, where the waterfall comes off. Right up there where my pole is. That's where we were sitting earlier. And we saw Everman Lake, so I'm gonna go see if I can find it. It's um, one of the lakes that me and Melody missed last time, so I'm gonna go check it out. Take you guys along with me. Well, that was quick. Made it to Everman Lake. This is like again, I said that uh, me and Melody had missed this lake earlier on our earlier trip. Uh, not much of a lake right now, to be honest with you. Probably too shallow for any decent fishing. But I'll walk around it and see what I can see. So, uh, what are all of, what do, I can't even speak, holy cow. What do all of you think of the new name, new trail name, Strider? I'm a fan of it, I love it. I adopted it right away. Graybeard came up with it, and I'm a fan. And it's definitely got a double meaning. If any of you are Lord of the Rings fans, you'll know that one of the main characters named is Strider. And then of course the other one is, he says that I take really big strides when I'm hiking. And I got a long stride, so. Hence, Strider. I'm in love with it, but I was just wondering what y'all think. So, Everman was way too deep, or, excuse me, way too shallow. I didn't even throw my line in. So I decided to head up to Jordan and check it out. If the old man wants to come up and check it out later today, I'll do the hike again, because, heck, I don't mind. All right, everyone. Made it to Jordan Lake. This is just the beginning of it, of course.
But I think I'm gonna fish this first little part of it right here. See what I can do. My bad everyone. This is not whoa mud. This is not Jordan Lake. It's a little pond before Jordan Lake. I thought this was just the extreme end of Jordan Lake, but it's not. Um, I don't even see fish in it. It's pretty shallow. And I don't see any fish. I don't see anything hitting the water. So we're just going to continue on up to Jordan Lake and see if I can't catch fish number four. I'm surprised that I'm sure this pours, you know, Jordan Lake pours into this. So I'm really surprised I'm not seeing any even baby fish in there, but I'm not. So we'll continue heading up. The trail's just right over here. And we'll head up to Jordan Lake. Now we've reached Jordan Lake. Uh, it was like another 60 seconds past that pond. This, my friends, is Jordan Lake. And hopefully, I can catch some fishies. What a beautiful spot. I'm gonna try right here first and uh, see what my luck is. I'm gonna fish right off this rock into that deep stuff right there. Look how deep it is. You can see the change in color. And I'll just cast right out into there. So I didn't even get a bite, but that's okay. I think I'm going to cross these logs and head around to the other side of the lake. And see what I can see. Holy cow, that log moved. I don't even see any little fish right here, which is very strange. But I know they're in there. I've seen them jumping previously, and I've heard them jumping a couple times today already. <clears throat> so, oh, look at that. Can you guys see the dragonfly? Probably not very well, but anywho, I go across these. And find myself a nice little fishing spot. There's Spread Eagle Peak. You can see why it's oh, that's weird. Why it's called Spread Eagle. It looks like a eagle spreading its wings. So yeah. See if I can get another fishy. Fish number four, my friends. That's a good brook trout. Longer than my hand. Beautiful fish, man. That would be great eating. But I'm going to release it. Awesome. Fish number four and a huge one. Just look at the colors on him. Gorgeous. So this is the exact same spot that I just caught that big brookie. That was at least, uh, I'd say 10, 11 inches. So we'll see if I can get another one. Fish just followed it right almost up to the bank.
All right, guys. Four fish, not too bad. I'm gonna head back to camp, see what Graybeard's doing. Maybe we'll come back this evening, maybe we won't. We'll just have to see what happens. But uh, I'm on my way. Back to camp. Fish number five, everyone. Fish number five. I'm gonna try to get him off the line here. Get him back in the water. What up guys, Strider and Graybeard here. It is 6.40 in the evening. Uh, Saturday evening. And uh, yeah, we're just chilling. Got a fire going now, it's starting to get a little chilly. You can see I'm in my puppy, he's in his fleece. Beanie's on, so. Probably be another cold one tonight, hopefully not as cold. We didn't get any rain like we had yesterday evening, so. Yep, we're just uh, relaxing. Hoping we stay above freezing. Yeah, we are hoping. Right as we got, if we took a little nap, when I got back from uh, Jordan, we had enough shade on the tent there to take a nice little, maybe an hour nap. That was nice. And just as we were getting up, I didn't have my phone on me, so I couldn't get it videoed, but we had two deer just run basically right through our camp. It was pretty sweet, so. Anyway, that's what we're doing. We're just chilling. So even though I just said that we were gonna chill, I decided to come down to the Y again, which is maybe a two minute hike, if that, from camp, and uh, try my luck on some fishies. Let's see if we can make it six. So you guys are just going to have to take my word on it. Um, they're very small, so I'm putting them back, but that brings the tally to eight. I've caught three in about the last five minutes, but they're so tiny, I'm just throwing them back. Lots of fun, though. What up, y'all? It is uh, 9.18 at night. I don't know how cold it is. Let's see. It's not even close to what it was last night at this time. 37.5 degrees. It's very nice. And we are just chilling. Um, we're going to star watch here in a bit. Maybe, if we can stay awake that long. <laughs> but last night, I'll tell you guys what. It was a spectacular show of stars. So many wouldn't even know what to do with it all. You had your program to identify a bunch of stuff too. It was cool. Yeah, it is. I love that thing. I have an app that will show you each star and what it's called and planets and where satellites are, where the space station is, and it's really cool. Man, that little bug, man. So anyway, we're just uh, in the tent. Hiker Midnight came and went, and we decided to get into bed. Good night. So, yeah, that's basically it. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good night, all.